So on today's video, I'm going to show you how you can easily set up vertical video settings in DaVinci Resolve that's going to allow you to quickly turn a widescreen video into a vertical video. So let's go ahead and head into DaVinci Resolve and get this set up. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. And so I'm going to go ahead and drop my clip into my project timeline. And as you can see here, this is a standard widescreen video. Nothing special about that. And if you wanted to set this to vertical video, let me show you the previous way in which you would do this. And so you would go up here to your file and then you could go to project settings right here. And then DaVinci Resolve has added a feature for vertical video resolution. So you could see here it says use vertical resolution. So you could check this and say save. And now it is a vertical video resolution, but as you could tell, it doesn't fill up this entire resolution. Now there are a number of ways that you could fix this, but the easiest way is to use the retime and scaling. So if you go here to your inspector, and then go down here to retime and scaling, and then you would expand this. Go down here to scaling, and then choose fill, and now it fills it up, and then you go back up to your inspector, and you could reposition this, and that's the first and probably the simplest way for people starting out to set up a vertical video. So now that you know how to change a widescreen video to a vertical video manually, let me show you a much easier way to do that to where by default, whenever you bring in a widescreen video, it's already set up for vertical video. So we'll go back up to our file and then project settings. And just like before, we're gonna use a vertical resolution. But the difference here is you're gonna go down here to image scaling. And by default, it is scale entire image to fit. So what we wanna do is choose the drop down and then choose scale full frame with crop and we're going to do that for output scaling as well. And then we're going to go ahead and save that. And here is our vertical video resolution. But now when you actually pull down your clip, it is already filled the whole vertical resolution. So that makes things a lot easier. And then you could reposition as you need. And if you actually have the paid studio version, you can use a feature called Smart Reframe. This is especially helpful if you have footage where you are moving around in the video and you're constantly having to change your inspector settings or set up keyframes. Now, once again, this is only available in the paid studio version, but this is super helpful. You could either use the auto Smart Reframe or you could choose a reference point. I myself like a reference point, so then I could choose the object that I want to uh, control and reframe. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. So once that's done, you see that DaVinci Resolve has reframed things. So in this case, even if you are moving around, uh, DaVinci Resolve will basically set up keyframes for you. So as you can see here, the reference points position, they are moving by themselves. So this is a really super handy feature where you could make sure that the objects are in the center of the video without having to do a lot of additional work. And then the final thing is, what if you want to use these vertical video resolution settings every time you create a project? Well, this is where it comes in really handy for you to be able to save these settings. So if you go back up to file, then project settings, on these three dots up here on the top right, you have the ability to set this as your current default settings as a preset, or I would highly recommend that you save this as a preset. So I'm gonna save this as a vertical video preset. So all of these settings are saved for the future. So we'll change this. And then if you were to actually create a new project, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and create a new project. And let's see if this works. So we'll create this. Here we have a blank project. And then if you go up here to file, project settings, and then you could go up here to your three dots and there is vertical video. And then you could go ahead and load the preset. And then you would go ahead and bring in our clips. And we'll drop it to our timeline. And there it is. It already has the vertical video resolution. And it's already made sure the image is fit to the vertical video resolution. And obviously, in this case, you're still going to have to reframe things. Like I said, if you don't have the studio version, you're going to have to do this manually, most likely through keyframes. But if you do have the actual studio version, you could use the smart reframe feature. So that is all that you have to do to set up 
easy vertical video settings to actually change your widescreen videos over to vertical videos. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials, tips, and tricks, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below.